In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Microsoft Teams and how we plan to use it as a student planner uh, for this year. So, to first of all, let's let's look at how you can get onto Teams. Um, you can reach Teams from any Office 365 page. So here, I'm looking at the the staff page. If you look at the top left-hand corner, uh, this thing up here is called the Waffle uh, or App Launcher. So if I click on there, you can see that Teams is one of the options that I can pick from there. Uh, that will launch Teams. Uh, you could also do it from the Outlook page. So here, if you're in Outlook, looking at your mail, again, if you look at the App Launcher top left-hand corner, you should find that there's a link to Teams. Okay, once that's loaded, you should get a page that looks a bit like this. You may get a different selection of teams. This is my teams that I'm a member of. Um, now, this is running in the browser at the moment. You can see I've got like the, the browser bar at the top. Now, you can get, uh, you can install a standalone uh, Teams app, which I do recommend that you do. Uh, if you look at this uh, icon down here where it says Get App, if you tap on that, uh, you should be able to download the Teams app if you run it, then it will install a standalone Teams client that launches when you turn the computer on. I've already got that installed. I've got a little icon here for Teams, so I'm gonna switch over to that one. Now you can see it looks pretty much identical as the last one, except you haven't got the browser bar at the top anymore. Uh, but actually, some functionality works better in the full client than, than running it in your browser. So for the best experience of using Teams, I do recommend that you install the, the Teams app. Okay. So the idea this year is we're going to be using the using Teams instead of a planner for the students. Now there are a number of, of things within Teams that we're going to be making use of in order to make that uh, a reality. So first off, uh, I've got these year teams here. So there's year seven, year eight, year nine, year 10, year 11. Um, now I put staff in the year team that they belong in for now, but if you can join any of the other groups by clicking join team up here they're public teams so you should be able to join those uh, but let's have, let's take a look at the year eight students uh, team now uh, the team is made up of various sections uh, so I've, I've clicked on the year eight team I can see that I'm in the conversation tab to start with uh, you can see if I scroll back that uh, the year sevens have already found their team so the year eights have already found their team and have already been uh, communicating in it. And today I've sent this welcome back message just to remind students to start at 11. And some students have already commented on that. So they are already looking at Teams and using Teams. Uh, so you can, if you had a message that you wanted to send out to the whole of year eight, you can easily just type your message in here. Works in like WhatsApp or any other kind of communication based app. Very easy to use and you can add all sorts of attachments and smiley faces and stickers to it as well. Uh, in the next tab along we have a files uh, tab. Now this is like a group OneDrive or cloud drive. Uh, it's a place to upload um, documents and everyone in the team has access to those documents. So, so far I've set up two folders in here. The first one is called ePlanner. If I drill down on that uh, you can see that we've got all the various documents that used to sit at the front of the planner uh, hard copy book that we used to give the students. Uh, so students can refer to each of those. You just click on them and they should open up within uh, Teams. Very nice and straightforward. Uh, if I come back up to the other one, there's, there's one called Letters. Uh, if we send a letter home uh, with year eight students, a copy of it will be put in this folder. So if a student then loses their letter or asks you again for another copy, you can just tell them it's in Teams. Go and, go and sort it out yourself. Uh, now the next tab along is called Agreements. If I click on that one, it takes me to an embedded Microsoft Forms. Uh, now we're gonna be using this for the kind of like the home school agreements for students. So uh, the things that they used to sign in their planner. So we've got like the, the t 10. So there are all the t 10 and the students can digitally sign that by clicking uh, this button here. I agree to follow the t 10 at all times and not cross the red line. And again, we've got the anti-bullying charter that students can agree to. Uh, there's a t ICT policy. 
and there is the mobile phone policy. Now the student is going to have to go through and tick each of those and then submit it uh, uh, to, to show that they've signed those, um, those documents and uh, are aware of them. Uh, you can't actually submit this unless you have um, ticked each of the boxes, so it's all or nothing. You either agree to all of them or you agree to none of them. Um, and we will be doing a bit of work a little bit later on to kind of collect in and work out who's signed it and who hasn't so we can chase it up later. Uh, the other tab I put in here is a student training videos tab uh, where I'm planning to put a few more videos over the course of this term to help students get used to using this new system. At the moment it just tells you how to open up a OneNote. I'm going to be adding to these uh, over the next few weeks. Okay, so that's it for the year eight group. So you can see already that a lot of what we put into the planner uh, is already in that one group. Now coming back to the list of all the teams, you should also be a member of a team for each of your teaching groups. So you can see that I'm a member of 2019-9ABT-RG, which is my registration form. And I'm a member of 2019-9A4MA, uh, so that's my year nine set four maths class and I'm a member of a few others. So you should find that you've got a, a, a team for each of your teaching groups. Now, if any of these are missing, uh, please just double check that you are actually assigned to those teams already or to those groups already in SIMS. And if it's still not showing up in teams, uh, please can you email me and I will follow up and make sure that all your teams get created for you. Uh, now these teams, already contain all the students uh, for each of your classes. So if I look at my 2019 9ABT class and open it up, I can click on these three buttons here and go to manage team and it will show me all the members of my team. So this is all my form group in here. Now this list is automatically um, uh, kept synced by uh, Sims so every night a report is run in SIMS, which is fed into Office, and this, these lists are updated. Now, if for some reason someone is missing, you can use this Add Member button on here to add extra students in as you go through, but uh, you should find that the system adds them in or takes them out as and when students arrive or leave your form. Okay, so what else can we do in here then? So in the in the registration group, then I can talk to individual students in my uh, to the, my individual class, uh, and I can set assignments. So all of your teaching groups, you can set an assignment for, which is a bit like you typing in their homework. So if any staff come from other schools and have used things like Show My Homework or uh, Google Classrooms, these are this is a very similar uh, thing. Uh, so if I want to set a homework for my group, I can come in here and I can create it. And I just need to fill in these forms. I can give it a title, I can write the instructions, I can uh, attach documents, I can set a due date and time. Uh, and then I, when I, once I save it, a notification will be sent out to all of the members of my class that they have their homework. Um, and they will appear in the students assignments tab. So there, there isn't anything in here right now to show you, but uh, as the assignments are created and put in, they would go in there in chronological order. Now, uh, for this year, we are saying that year seven, having an iPad is a expectation. And we are also expecting uh, teachers of year seven to uh, put any homeworks that they set for their classes in teams. So if you've got any groups in here that say 2019 seven something, so you're a teacher of year seven, we're expecting you this year to be using teams to set homework. Students in year seven are not expected to write the homework down themselves. We're expecting uh, the subject teachers to enter that homework for them in teams. Uh, then the year seven students will get uh, all those homework assignments appearing as a uh, task to do in their assignments tab. Uh, and they can work through those. Uh, later on this year, we'll be looking at sending that information out to parents as well. Uh, the other thing in Teams that uh, students can look at is their calendar. If you go into calendar and uh, kind of uh, step through there, you'll find that each of the students has got their um, their their timetable in there and so do you. So you have your timetable in, in Teams calendar and the students have their timetable in Teams calendar. 
Okay, so you can see uh, from Teams, they've already got access to their timetable. They've got access to all the documents that they used to have at the front of their planner. They've got uh, access to the documents that they need to sign that can be signed and collected in uh, automatically, electronically. Um, the homework will be set, uh, can be set by the teachers and appear in here. We're expecting year seven uh, teachers to put those homework assignments in. Now, if you like the system and you want to set homeworks for other teams, uh, year groups that you teach, feel free to do that. But the expectation this year is that you do it for year seven. While we're here, just gonna point out a few other things in Teams. Uh, I've also created a staff team. Uh, this is something that I want to try and develop this year. There's actually a conversation thread in here, so there's potential for this to take over from the current um, SharePoint um, notice board. Uh, we're thinking about whether or not that, that can happen. Uh, there is a, a link here to the staff portal, so it should take you straight to the staff page within uh, SharePoint anyway. We've got a link here to the T drive, and I've also added training videos aimed at staff. So this video will also appear here. Uh, and there's some other videos in here that you might find useful in orientating yourself and getting used to using the ICT in the college. The other thing that you can use Teams for is uh, the chat feature. Uh, you can create individual chats with individual people, either students or teachers. Uh, you could do that with uh, one student, one, te uh, one student, or a group of students, or a group of teachers. Okay, if you've got any questions about how to use uh, Teams as uh, an e-planner, please get in contact with me. Just email me or contact.